Hello everybody, um, welcome to another great challenge created by Rusty Money Gaming. This is the Shanty Boys Farm Challenge. So here we are on uh, Blackwater Bottoms. It's an all platforms challenge. Uh, you're going to start off in new farmer, mo new farmer mode, uh, normal economy. All other settings are going to be your choice. Uh, mob, mods are allowed as long as they're cross-platform only. Um, <clears throat> money mods as long as they're small, so no government subsidy. DLCs are allowed. You can lease, borrow equipment. Collectibles are allowed. And animal feed can be purchased. So how you're going to start... Um, in new farmer mode you're gonna first sell all equipment then you're gonna sell all the sheds workshop uh, silos all the animal pens uh, beehive and the greenhouses and then from there you're gonna you're gonna purchase um, Plot 16 right here and then you'll have to sell the oil mill and BGA on that property so you should have about 2.5 million in your bank account and from there you must buy the following uh, one the Rotney H21D it's the in-game tree harvester uh, you'll need to buy a one harvester with both types of headers um, and the two header trailers that go with it. Uh, one large tractor, one medium tractor, a tipper trailer, a planter, cedar, plow, and a pickup. So after all the equipment's been purchased, you're now ready to start. And so stage one you're gonna build the farm you need to have two sheds one workshop one silo one beehive two greenhouses and all the animal pens stage two all the animal pens need to be filled to 50 percent capacity and finish with 500,000 or more um, stage three finish with uh, one million and stage four finish with over 2.5 million. So now let's take a quick look at what I did. So, oh yeah, you cannot sell um, the house or this shed right here this garage those are the only two things that you cannot sell on the property so i already went ahead and put in my two sheds got all my equipment moved over um, uh, and i also installed the workshop and then had a little extra left over so i put in a diesel tank And then I also put in this um, I don't want to call it a silo it's more of a storage tank for like my seeds and fertilizer it's the one by um, Missy B let me see what was the name of it Oh yeah, the commodity storage by Missy B. So I added that. So let's take a quick look at all my equipment that I started out with. Uh, here's my pickup. And then... Come on over here picked up the John Deere plow 
the Amazon Cedar and then we picked up the Kenzie Blue Drive Planter picked up this tipper trailer um, and then I also picked up this little bell trailer for um, pallets and stuff like that for my large tractor the John Deere 7310R for my medium tractor uh, picked up the John Deere 643R with also with the uh, front loader attachment and then got my harvesting header here with the trailer and then my corn header with its trailer and then in here is the fun stuff there's the Rotney and my harvester never really used the Rotney so I'm interested to see how that goes and then I went with the Colossus and of course painted it John Deere colors if you couldn't have already sensed the theme So yeah, that's my starting equipment and whatnot. As you can see, we are left with a vast amount of land that we can still add everything onto. Um, see what kind of stuff we can make of it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the setup for now. So I did already pick up a few contracts, all the two harvesting contracts and a fertilizing contract. Um, so that's where we're going to start out at, get things rolling. So now this um, storage container it is empty when you uh, put it down so you do have to fill it yourself so i did place an order at the uh, at the shop so i ordered uh seed and fertilizer so we're gonna go ahead and get our medium tractor Sorry, correction, 6250R. And um, we'll hook up this trailer and then we'll head on over to the shop and get it all loaded up.
All right, so there is all our pellets of seed and fertilizer. Um, the shop does have a forklift over here that is available for use. So we're going to hop in here and we're going to go ahead and get this trailer loaded so we can get our storage silo filled. So this is my first time using this uh, this forklift, so bear with me. Might be a little rough. I do like all the different camera angles that this one comes with. There is a base game one of this model, but I I don't know if it does all the different camera angles. But I think this is a nice little little forklift for like a shop. Of, um, shop truck. All right, there we go. We got a couple pallets loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the rest of these all loaded onto the trailer. And we will catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so we got that all loaded up. Um, she ain't pretty, but it'll work. So let's go ahead and put this forklift back away. Right on over here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and strap everything down. Don't want to lose anything along the way. Yeah, those aren't going to go anywhere. Alright, so let's head on back over the farm. Get this all loaded into that storage container. So I think this challenge is going to be pretty fun. Um, I think... Being able to create your own farm is going to be nice. It's going to be a lot of fun seeing what everybody comes up with. Um, but we're going to take a little break from our Zero to Hero challenge. Work on this a little bit until that update comes out. Then we'll jump back and forth between the two challenges. So yeah, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be gonna be a lot of fun to see which way we can go with this. So this turn is a little little tight, but it's doable. Just wide enough for the equipment to go through.
So yeah, I'm hoping that this will auto unload. Um, I'm not sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. That could have been disastrous. A little slow. Um. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Let's see. Okay, cool. It does auto unload. I didn't know if I was going to have to take each one of these pallets off one by one. So, that makes it a little bit easier. Alright, so now we have seed and fertilizer. For not only our farm. Maybe use it for contracts every now and then. So let's get this put away. Tractor put away. All right. Oh, wait a second. Forgot to do one thing. Got to lower those forks. Safety. Don't want anybody tripping over those. That would not be good. I don't think my uh, my homeowner's insurance would cover that claim. So, all right, I think this is where we're gonna end it on this one. Just wanted to show what I started with. Oh yeah, one more thing. Home is not a home without a little puppy. So we got Tango over here. Wherever he's at. Huh. Where is he at? He usually doesn't go far, so he should be around here somewhere. Maybe if I throw his ball. Oh, wait a second. There he is. Good boy. Alright, so yeah. That is it. That's my little setup so far. i keep working on that and see which way we go. Oh, look. Kids left out one of their toys. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Have a good one.